Hey guys, I'm Powered Up Mike, and uh, this is gonna be a doozy. Which way, Labyrinth? Honestly, I don't know, you tell me! Uh, uh, I purposely held off doing this. Well, let's get that taken care of. Okay, just gotta watch out for all those nasty, pesky little boos. Okay, let's try climbing up here. But hey, this is kind of what a blind playthrough does. And coins that run away just because. Yeah, let's hope I don't have to spend this, spend, you know, a little millennium in here. Okay. <laughs> you know. But yeah. You know, it was actually a pretty neat trick back in the day how Bowser's voice was just Boo's laugh, just with a different speed or something. Aha! The power of power-ups, eh? And this is just a slower version. Oops. Let's just go this way. I didn't mean to do that. That was sad. Oh yeah, Mario time. Let's see if we can score anything. Oh, we got a mushroom. Yes. Ooh, these guys. Come on, this way. Ooh, there's our first star coin. Oh, looks like we have to go the other way. So yeah, let's go back up to where we started. Hey, we need you. Hey, this is one of the few times you can have any sort of Yoshi in a ghost house. I don't think... Scary rats? Let's see what's up here. I don't know that... Mind me not to go in that door to the right. Hey, look what you did. You scared off the baby. Ah. What? I just needed to do that? Let's see what's back here. I know there's a secret exit. <gasps> Let's grab some coins while we're at it. Well, we're two-thirds of the way done this level, technically. In terms of star coins, at least. Thank you for the free money. Really, thank you. And now... I guess we really do have to do this level in part. I'll see you back later. Wait! Stay away! Those boos have the same mouth mouth as Wobbuffet and Why Not. Same zigzag mouth. 
Let's go through this door. We haven't gone through this one yet, and if we play our cards right, this will take us right to where we need. Up we go, we're riding an elevator. Hey, baby Yoshi. You are always welcome on this trip in the chaos. I mean, the only real part I don't like about these ghost houses is, well, like, you know, they're not as clear-cut as, oh, ye, as others. Yes, let's ride up the secret way. Through another secret little door. There we go, we got our third and final star coin. Whoa, you can eat the ghosts! Yeah, each jump will take away the wood blocks, as you see. Now, this was a satisfying ending. Oh well, stuff like this takes time. But there we go. On to the next one. This way. So, we get a secret level. We gotta do that always. Mm -hmm. Flight of the Parabeetles. No, this isn't Flight of the Silly Little Bumblebee. This is Flight of the Parabeetles. It'd be nice if I could get a... Yeah! An eight, Super Acorn. It's like, I want to call them Acorn Mushrooms, but... No, that's not what they're called. Of you know. Hey, free one up! That's what I like here. You know, that's why I like the super acorn here. What? That's not fair, man. You know, it's nice to see, you know, a more friendly variant of the Buzzy Beetles and the Para Beetles. So I don't want up today. Slow and steady. Okay. Oh no, King Bills. Plus, yeah, was, that's what the app game Atlas said. I dodged that, and I'm glad I did. Here it comes! Oh, that was nerve wracking. Oh no, there's a secret one. It's okay. Let's just get. Come on, get me to the red pipe. That's right, little buddy. Red pipe. Red pipe, come on. <gasps> Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, that's such a relief. We made it. Whoa, no, no, no. I could have jumped and died, but I didn't. Oh, man. So we get instant access to Moran Clouds that way. Yes, I'll save. So let's head back down. Painted Swamp Land. Yeah, this is one of the more memorable and iconic levels in the game, and... Yep, it's based off of Van Gogh's Starry Night. And, you know, one of the things about Van Gogh that I think is relevant here is... Not all artists are appreciated in their lifetime. And I think that's true for the Wii U. 
fact, my buddy Cam, he was telling me how he thinks Wii U games are eventually going to go up in price. Same thing with the GameCube. Because, well, the GameCube, you know, wasn't really appreciated enough in its lifetime in terms of sales, and well, now look where we are. In fact, I think even when this game came out, some GameStop stores, you could still buy Wii. Not Wii. You could still buy uh, GameCube games. Oh, and that's just lovely. Like, this is Nintendo using their HD to their advantage. It just looks so lovely. You know, graphics aren't everything in a video game, but come on, you gotta make it look visually appealing. Out of the way, boo. I need a boost. That's not what I meant. Granted, if I had more time, I could easily go back to World 1 1 and just farm all the power ups I want and need. But, well, it's, n it's not that simple when you're recording, because, you know. For someone like me, you're on a tight time limit. The sense of, you know, how much you can record while you're at home and stuff. <gasps> Woo! That was... That was a doozy. This is life in the spooky forest. Let's go down here and see what's... Oh yes, this is the secret exit. There's that pretty painting swirl. Mm. But you know, the Wii U, it really had potential, and you know, I really think it could have been something extra special, you know, if things just went a little different. This way. We technically made it out of the spooky part of the forest, but let's finish things up here. Come on. It's not like it's some super fancy cryptic riddle. Trust me, there are much worse games that came out by Nintendo in the year 2012 that were cryptic. You know, Sticker Star. And this is the point where we do need the secret exit to go forward, but hey. That's enough for today's episode. Thank you all for watching, and well, until next time, bye!